All right, guys, so welcome back. Like I was telling the St. Mike's guys, so hello to have you filming on the YouTube channel. Uh, we're gonna do some weight stuff today. We're gonna do a couple of compound movements with the weights. I think I have four lined up. We'll do it 10 times three like we did last week. We'll do a warm up stretch. We'll get the heart rate up. We'll do a little bit of weight training. Uh, and then we're gonna go on to a good stretch and then that'll be it. So again, running time should be about 25 minutes here, roughly. We'll adjust as needed. I'm just gonna start my timer here so I don't keep you guys too long. Uh, stopwatch, here we go, and we're off. So, let's do the standard neck. Oh, feels good. Do you guys find that I know none of you are probably gonna answer and I end up just talking to myself, which is fine because I'm happy doing that anyway. But do you guys find even though sometimes, you know, you might be a bit tired and it's a bit of a challenge to get at this workout and, and get it done or any workout for that matter. I know I've been trying to run a little bit here and there and some days I just fight it so much and I don't wanna get out there. But my goodness, when I do actually do it, I feel so much better after. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I know when I do a workout and get a good little sweat in in the morning, my goodness, I feel better the rest of the day. So I'll assume that you people not answering means of course you agree with me because everyone always agrees with me. Unless of course you're one of my 18 ex-wives. All right, arm circles, forward, palms, try to keep the palms facing up, open your chest up nice and wide, backwards. Good, over, under, nice and easy. Don't whip these arms back now, guys, okay? It's not a contest, there's nothing to be gained here. All weight training for that matter, or training in general for that matter, it's not a contest, guys. Again, I've often said, and it's typical, mostly with this washing machine, mostly with young males, for whatever reason, uh, that feel the need that they gotta prove how strong and tough they are, and they get around weights, and they're trying to throw up weights that they can't lift. Super bad idea, you can get injured. First of all, let's do some ooh -la -las. You can get injured, first of all, uh, second of all, your technique is gonna be poor and you're actually limiting the amount of weight that you can lift and the fact that, you know, when you get the technique down, your weight will go up quite quickly. If you never have great technique, and there is technique to lifting weights, it's not just a strength game, okay? There is definitely some technique to it. If you never get the technique, your weight will never increase to, the, to, the, to your capabilities. So, Super important that you always remember when you're working out, it really is just for you. It can't be for a mark or for your parents or for your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever the case may be, or you're not ever gonna stick to it. It's personal, take pride in it, and it's a sense of accomplishment. You know, it's something you can check off your list in the morning, make your bed, get a workout in, boom, you're off on the right foot. You've already accomplished some stuff. So that being said, I guess we will start doing these workouts at 5.30 a.m. to get them out of the way. Does that work for everyone? I'll assume if no one answers, that's a better time for everyone. Maybe that's why there's only, you know, seven or eight of you guys. Maybe we need to start doing them at 5.30 a.m. And no one answered, so I'll assume that's correct. Just joking, we'll keep going at nine. Quad. Remember your tricks if you're having trouble balancing, finger in your ear, finger on your nose, stare at something on the floor in front of you. If you do have a really easy time balancing, a good thing to try to do is close your eyes. I know I really struggle when my eyes are closed to keep my balance. I can do it pretty good with my eyes open, but I need to concentrate a lot more with my eyes closed. It's something fun to break up the monotony of stretching. Not a big fan of stretching. Probably because I'm very inflexible, mentally and physically. Oh. 
Excellent. Let's do one nice wide leg. Oh, we didn't do hamstrings yet. Oh, feeling it. Right, let's do some trunk rotations. This workout won't be quite as sweaty as Tuesdays as the previous workout was, so um, that's fine. It's a little nicer out today, so I'm hopeful if you guys don't have too many switch directions, if you don't have too many classes today that you can get outside and get active, go canoeing or hiking or swimming might be a bit chilly, but swimming or tennis, golf, basketball, throw a football, work on your curveball, whatever the case may be, but you guys should all be out there getting active, enjoying the fresh air. Okay, and we'll do one hamstring push here, so get your heel out in front of you and kind of push down on your thigh. You should feel it pull in the back of your leg a bit on your hamstring. So we're going to start just with a, a warm up to get a little bit of sweat going. We're just going to do jumping jacks for like two minutes. That's the first thing we're going to do. And then I have four sets of weight things that we're going to do that you can either use weights or not. So the first one, uh, I'll go over it when we get there, but it's going to be a push up. I'm going to do it on the dumbbells. It's a push up. And then when you get up, you actually lift one arm with the weight, push up, lift the other arm, push up, lift the other arm. If you don't have weights or you don't have weights that work for this because you need a little space to fit your hands in under, if you don't have the proper weights, it doesn't matter. Just do a standard push-up and you're getting the benefit anyway. Okay, we're going to start here in 10 seconds. We're going to do two minutes of jumping jacks just to get the blood flowing. Maybe get a little tiny sweat going. Here we go. So don't go too crazy because we're going to sustain this for a while. It's a little painful, but I just wanted to get the heart rates up quick this morning. Just nice and easy. This is really a warm up. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. That's one minute, one more to go. If you really, really, really cannot keep doing this, change it up and jog in place. I don't really care what you're doing. Jump in place. As long as you're doing something that keeps your arms and legs moving, gets you warmed up. We've got 25 seconds left. You wanna make sure that you're gonna hydrate after this, eat properly, get some good stuff in those bodies. 10 more seconds. Good, take a little break. Grab whatever weight equipment you have kicking around. See what we can do here. I'm gonna use my dumbbells, okay? You don't want something silly heavy, but you don't want it to be too, too, too light at the same time. So again, I might end up off camera here now, but we're doing a push up. Standard push-up at the top. You're going to pull that weight up to your chest and back down. We're going to do 10 total, <coughs> excuse me, which ends up being five with each arm. Okay. We're going to do 10 total reps. We're going to end up doing three sets when it's all said and done. So one, two, three. For 10, 
Good. I'm gonna take a 20 second break, and we're gonna go do 10 more. Same exercise again. Make sure the weight is not too much for you. If it's hurting too much, you want to stop and lower your weight or just go with a standard flat push-up. Here we go. Second break, 20 second break. This will be our last set. We'll take a minute on break when the set's done. We'll move on to the next one, which is a squat with a shoulder press. Oh, perfect. You coming to lift weights? There's some right there for you. No thanks. Oh, no thanks. All right, here we go. 10 more. Ooh. Power through. probably should. Feel free to grab a sip. You're going to need it. It's still humid enough. So next one we're going to do, you're going to hold your weights at your chest. Okay, you're going to hold your weights at your chest. Squat down nice and low. And then when you come up, you're going to drive the weights up over your head. So it's a shoulder and a leg at the same time. We're doing compound exercises here, which means that we're kind of working two muscle groups. Typically speaking with, with most typical weight programs, you target one muscle group at a time. We're kind of doubling that up because why not? All right, here we go for 10. Squat with a press, down, one. You want to get nice and low, drop it down, set the weights down, give yourself a bit of a rest, but not too long. Coming back in 10 or so now, and we'll go back again. The weight should be enough that you don't much feel it in the first few, but by the last few, it's a little tricky, especially by the last set. Here we go again. <clears throat> Definitely feeling that in my shoulders. I don't know about you guys. We got 10 more seconds here. Now we're into our last set. Definitely gets the heart rate going a bit more when you're doing these double moves. And here we go. Last set. Finish strong, guys. 10 more. Ooh. 
tricky at the end for me. Next up we're going to do a front lunge with a double bicep curl. So it ends up being five lunges on each leg because we're going to alternate ten curls total. It's a pretty good shoulder workout today actually now that I realize it. Grab that water again if you need it. I know I am definitely sweating now. How are we doing on time here? 9.17, perfect. We've been working out for about 17 minutes. So here we go. You're gonna hold the weight at your sides this time. Lunge down and curl. Switch, one. Two. And one more for me. Do whatever you do to get your tank. Set your weights down. 20 second break. I can hear you guys working hard out there. That's super. And here we go. If you did just finish, which it sounds like some of you did, take a bit longer, okay? If not, Crank it up again. Here I said this workout wouldn't get you guys sweating. I don't know about you guys, but it definitely got me sweating. Ten more seconds, we'll do our last set of lunge curls. Whew, that ten seconds goes quick, eh? And here we go. Last set, then we got one exercise left. And then a stretch. One, two, one. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. Always fun to be finished. Whew. Here we go. One more big one left. We'll do another quick cool down and stretch. And you guys can check this off your list for the day. Workout. Check mark. Oh. I am feeling it. Personally, I have very weak shoulders. Uh, I'm dropping down on this next one. I was using 25s for the first three. 
I'm actually going down to tens for this. You guys do what you gotta do. We're gonna do a side lunge and lift the two weights straight up in front of us. So the weights start at your, at your hips. Side lunge, front lift in 10 seconds. Same thing, you end up doing 10 front lifts with the weight and five side lunges with each leg. Here we go. Good, 20 seconds here, so 23 to be precise, and we'll come right back. Two more sets of those, and then the heavy work for today is done. Other cool thing, I don't know if that's just me, but those of you that are with me live, I love the thought that you guys are up and working to get better. And most of your classmates are in bed sleeping. Should be proud of yourselves. guys that's it for today's workout here we go ten more and one the further out you get the better it is but again never hurt yourself you gotta learn to push yourself without hurting yourself If you absolutely have to, do less. If you think you can, do more. Almost there. Last one for me. Woo! And we are good. Good job, guys. I don't know about you, I definitely felt it. Got a good little sweat going, but not too taxing. All right, let's do our cool down. Same thing we did this morning in reverse. Might add a few more in. And again, feel free to be a little more dynamic. You can waggle around a bit more. Whew, I definitely need this one. My shoulders are screaming a bit. There ended up being enough shoulder work in there. If you feel that you need to turn, very dangerous, you never want to with weightlifting only target one body part because again, as we know, our bodies work all together. So you know, you never just want to do biceps and triceps. You always need to be doing shoulders and chest because these muscles help support your arms as well, your back muscles, okay? So never do targeted weightlifting if you are going to lift weights. Make sure you incorporate your whole body in some regard. Groin stretch. Other way. Again, 10 to 15 I would say. Hopefully most of you guys are gonna be able to get out and get active after this. It's the first nice sunny day we've had in a while. Side stretch. 
<sighs> and again, if you are about to go do something, don't feel the need to stretch right now. If it's gonna be a couple hours, if you have class coming up for the next couple hours, maybe you wanna do a light stretch. And then if you're doing anything super taxing, stretch it out again before. I'm gonna keep it there. I'm hoping to either get out and play some tennis later on after school. Um, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on the stretch again. It's super personal. If you need more, do more. If you feel that you need less, do less. Okay, the thing with that is it can't be personal on the level that as soon as the jumping jack gets a little tiring, you quit. You gotta power through some of that stuff. But listen to your body. Your body normally tells you what it needs. All right, gang, that's it. That's 25 minutes. St. Mike's, we'll see you back next Tuesday. Hadley Philemon, we'll see you next time on the channel.